Gloucestershire all but qualified for a place in the knockout stages of the Vitality Blast after giving Birmingham a blast lesson in Bristol. A sixth successive win secured with a margin of 50 runs. Batting first after winning the toss, Chris Dent and Miles Hammond did what they've been doing pretty much the whole campaign. Early boundaries from both setting the scene for the contest. Without taking any risks, this pair took 49 runs off the power play to lay the ideal foundation. And the pair continued on their merry way. No big hits on this occasion, but plenty of class as they took their opening partnership to 88 midway through the 12th over. It came as something of a surprise when Dent skied a shot off Jitan Patel, who completed the dismissal himself, the batsman on his way for 39. Hammond followed in the next over, hauling out to Dom Sibley off Ollie Stone, who was bowling with real pace. Hammond gone for 49. With five overs of the innings remaining, Gloucestershire had got to 112 for two and needed a big finish. Not for the first time, that was provided by Ian Cobain, who, with these two maximums, went to the top of the six hitting charts in this season's tournament. The 16th over cost 17 runs, while the Nets went for 15. Cobain again showing his skill and power with yet more maximums, taking his tally to four in this match and 19 overall in this season's blast. He fell trying to go big once more, and why not? But his 44 made off only 21 balls, gave his side the impetus they needed and in the end put the game out of reach. Jack Taylor was out in the penultimate over for seven, bowled by Henry Brooks. Swiftly followed by James Bracey, who was taken behind. And George Scott, who was run out. A frantic end to the innings, which saw the Glossers finish on 173 for six. And that proved to be way too many for the Bears, once Graham Van Buren trapped Sibley in front in the first over of the reply. Rob Yates had made 15 when he cut David Payne to Scott at 24 for two. Gloucestershire had already thrashed this opposition this summer and were well on their way to doing so again as Adam Hose picked out Higgins off the returning Matt Taylor. And when Will Rose was bowled by the brilliant Van Buren for a duck, the visitors were left reeling on 41 for four at the end of the power play. Van Buren's excellence was matched by his spin partner Tom Smith, his four overs costing only 18 and including the wicket of Michael Burgess for 17. Van Buren ended with figures of 3 for 33, bowling Tim Bresnan to leave the Bears on 83 for 6 after 12, the match already over. A sixth successive victory was then seen out as Brooks was held well by Van Buren off Matt Taylor who then grabbed his third wicket by removing Stone, Smith with the catch, which had the fat lady singing. Taylor took three for 29 as the Bears imploded. Jake Lintot was then run out, coming back for a second. And Payne had Patel held off a miss hit. It was fitting that the final catch was taken by Cobain, whose innings had really changed the game. The Bears were all out at the start of the 18th over for 123, and that gave the home team another win. This a hammering by 50 runs. Qualification is surely secured, but they'll not want to take their foot off the gas as they now head to Cardiff on Friday. <laughs>